Hi guys. It is a gloomy, stormy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this rainy Wednesday afternoon, February 26, 2020, I believe. And I'm a little nervous about this video because I'm, I'm kind of coloring outside of the lines of Collapse Chronicles. I, I'm really, oh yes, this is Sam Mitchell uh, of Collapse Chronicles, and this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza, doing what we do every day, which is chronicle the collapse of a planet and welcome aboard. Uh, so for those of you who are familiar with what I do here, uh, on Collapse Chronicles, you probably know that I don't, well, to, to the best of my ability, uh, I don't spend a lot of time talking about my own interpretations uh, of events on this planet. I try to uh, bring you a wide cross-section of other voices, both in my interviews and the essays I read and whatnot. And so I'm gonna take a rare, is it step back or step forward or step sideways? And I'm just gonna weigh in, since everyone else on the planet with any link to social media is weighing in, I'm gonna get this one out of the way this is my interpretation of the coronavirus, uh, which, of course, unless you live under, unless you have moved into a hermetically sealed chamber under a rock, you, you understand that the coronavirus is the single biggest story on planet Earth. Uh, it is completely consumed uh the mainstream media the alternative media uh social media the conspiracy rabbit holes uh and a lot more of the doomosphere uh than, than i would like to admit to and you might have noticed a strange silence coming from me and so what i was going to do was just pick out six or seven of these various stories floating around uh, today out of the millions of stories on the coronavirus just to read them and give my interpretation. But I can pretty much to sum it up, guys, uh, I think the coronavirus is Y2K and December 21st, 2012, all over again. Uh, I actually, uh, as humiliated as I am to admit this, I am agreeing with Donald Trump and the government of Iran that this is an absolutely overblown, just a, you know, it, it's, it's a distraction with a capital D. With a capital D, uh, I am paying it virtually zero attention. Now, from the, uh, you know, from the doomer, uh, environmentalist side of me. The, the main point I, I want to make uh, about the coronavirus, if, if anybody, and you know, uh, you know, down, down here in the doomosphere, cheering on the coronavirus, thinking that it is going to make one difference, the tiniest little blip and uh, the overpopulation numbers on this planet, uh, I, I got some bad news for you, ain't gonna happen. Uh, since I started this video four minutes ago, more people have been born on this planet uh, than have died by the coronavirus. And my guess is over the next hour, 
uh, more people will be born on planet Earth uh, over the next hour than are ever going to die by the coronavirus. An absolute worst case or best case, depending on your view of things, I guess, out here in the Doomosphere. Uh, the absolute outside, absolute outside that more people are going to be born uh, on this planet in the next 24 hours uh, than are going to be, uh, that are going to die by the coronavirus. And then, of course, uh, probably, I don't know what percentage, but the vast, vast, vast majority of people who are going to die of the coronavirus, as Sarah Lim said, are old farts like you, Sam. It, 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 you know, it's old farts like me. It's people who are all who have already bred. Are you following me? It's not taking out breeders or or future breeders when you when you subtract the number of people who are going to die by the coronavirus, you subtract out the number of those people who are who have already bred and aren't going to be bringing any more viruses on the planet, uh, known as the Homo sapien virus, it, it, the, the number is absolutely meaningless. It, it is, the, 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 this whole thing, I, I, anybody uh, cheering on this pandemic as uh, as some sort of uh, eco Nazi pipe dream that it's actually going to take out a you know a and hell if it took out seven uh, billion people on the planet. Uh, it would take us about 20 years uh, to breathe. It, 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 it means nothing to that discussion. Uh, absolutely nothing to that discussion. Uh, now, I do think uh, it, it's quite possible and probably just baked into the cake that a, that a real, genuine pandemic is going to come along. Uh, that is going to make some tiny little dent in the human population, but it ain't going to be the coronavirus. It's got to be a virus that attacks people of breeding age to do any good as, as Mother Nature uh, shaking off her fleas. Uh, so that's the end of that discussion. But uh, it, it, it certainly has been interesting to watch this, you know, just from the perspective of being a chronicler of the collapse, to see how people do react when, uh, you know, when clueless morons who don't think about things like global pandemics actually start thinking about uh, these issues that we think about 24 hours a day. It, it provides a great window, uh, a little snapshot into the future of, of what it's going to look like when, not if, when a global industrial society collapses. Uh, a, a tiny little snapshot uh, of uh, when something real comes along uh, it, you know, this is it, it's a, a beautiful little peek in, into the future of, uh, of what's coming down and, and how humanity is going just to descend into just this, just the absolute stark terror that uh, if, if, if some little pipsqueak bad hair day like the coronavirus has unleashed uh, the reaction uh, on this planet that it has, what's going to happen when something real uh, finally starts to rear its head and people start figuring out that the coronavirus uh, on, uh, does not even place in the top 100 threats 
to uh, humanity or the planet. It's nowhere on the list. Nowhere on the list uh, uh, of things we need to be talking about on this planet. And, and when more and more people start figuring this out and start uh, opening themselves to this information that uh, I try to bring to your attention on Collapse Chronicles, uh, we are going to see Mad Max. And, 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 and this is an absolute slam dunk case of that. Uh, you know, the coronavirus. Uh, you know, what, what's going to happen, uh, you know, when a real, quote, virus uh, or, or when people realize that it is home, that it is the homo sapien virus they need to be worried about. It's going to be ugly on this planet. Okay, with all of that said, now the, the one thing uh, that, that, that I do see shaping up, uh, certainly after that little hiccup in the stock market yesterday, is the economic fallout. Uh, you know, what Donald Trump uh, was talking about, all of this fear-mongering, this completely over-the-top fear-mongering going on uh, in, in the press uh, is going, uh, it has nothing to do with the coronavirus itself, has nothing to do with the economy, it's the reaction. It is the reaction to this tiny little blip uh, of, of nothing, uh, you know, taking down the stock market or, or whatever. I mean, I, I guess uh, the cruise ship industry can just hang it up, which I can cheer on the coronavirus. I have said many times that the cruise ship uh, industry is the first global uh, industry that needs to go. The cruise ship industry is a poster child of every single thing that is wrong on this planet. And anything that the coronavirus can do to put the cruise ship industry at the bottom of the ocean, hallelujah. And then uh, more importantly uh, than the cruise ship is just the is just the airline industry. What is it going to mean uh, to the airline industry? Uh, I'm reading that already thousands and thousands and thousands of flights are being canceled every time there's a flight canceled. Every time one of these cruise ships doesn't leave the port. This is good for the planet. So uh, the coronavirus, while it is absolutely zero threat to uh, humanity, uh, it, it is. And, and I have to uh, actually give some credit to good old Book Hermit. Uh, Book Hermit, uh, despite his blind spot about climate change, uh, fully understands. So Book Hermit, if you would like to weigh in on this, uh, you, you, you know, uh, this could be the player. Is the coronavirus in and of itself going to be enough to uh, kick off a uh, global or even regional in uh, China economic collapse? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing an economist uh, in just a few hours, I, I, I'm getting really leery of, of mentioning who it is that I'm going to be interviewing uh, here on YouTube. We won't go into that, but tonight I'm going to be interviewing an economist and we're going to start out our discussion, you know, talking about this issue, uh, about how seriously is the coronavirus. But, you know, he and I talked last night, and basically what he's going to say is nobody knows. It is too early to tell. Uh, we're only, what are we? We're six weeks into this? Uh, so it is the economic fallout, what I call the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool. 
also, uh, of course, uh, anything the coronavirus can do to, uh, you know, to bring down the global industrial economy, uh, then, then that's a good thing for the planet because we need to bring down the global industrial economy. And if the coronavirus is gonna help us do that, then three cheers for the coronavirus. But uh, again, uh, I am no economist. Uh, I, I think the, uh, the effect on the global economy, there might be a little bit more of a a downward blip, temporary blip in the country of China. I am predicting, uh, I don't know if this economist is going to join me in this, I'm predicting a very temporary minor blip. Uh, this, this is going to be a tiny little bump in the road and just like Y2K December 20 or whatever, uh, all of these other overblown, hyped up distractions uh, is barely going to make a difference. But it is going to make a tiny bit of difference. As I say, every single a airplane and cruise ship, we can keep grounded. Good for, good for the coronavirus because that's good for the planet. But it's not going to be enough. But what it is again is a small snapshot that we will be able to have the historical precedent being set over the next, uh, let's call it three or four months, we are going to be able to measure uh, the economic fallout from some uh, pretty much mythical uh, imagined nothing uh, we are going to somewhat be able to gauge uh, the what it means when something is tiny and insignificant as coronavirus uh, makes its way uh, into the media more than anything else what that is going to mean and you're going to be if you have half of a brain you're going to be able to extrapolate that, uh, again, it's not the coronavirus. It, it is the over-the-top, knee-jerk, fear-based reactions from clueless morons that is going, it is the reaction to the non-event that uh, is going to make any blip in the economy. Uh, so we will be able to, uh, you know, to be able to extrapolate the, the tiny little hit from the coronavirus and figure out when the clueless morons, when the 99% of, uh, of uh, fear-based uh, whatevers uh, you want to call these people really do have something to uh, really do have something to uh, be afraid of uh, that will uh, hammer the global industrial economy so whatever it is bring it on because the number one task on the planet is to bring down a uh, global industrial society, but that's not going to happen. The first brick to fall is going to be the economy, and then uh, eventually, eventually, uh, we are going to tackle the deep end of the doomsday prophecy pool, and something is going to come along which is going to take out uh, billions of people. And again, by that comment, do not let anyone think by that comment that I believe if for one second in this fear mongering uh, about near term human extinction ain't gonna happen. Humans are not going extinct by 2026, by 2030, by 2050, 
probably not by 2100. Uh, I won't be around uh, to see that. But uh, the, the, the near-term human extinction movement, you know, led by that person we do not mention on Collapse Chronicles, uh, you, you know, they are as uh, much fear-based, knee-jerk, clueless morons as anybody running to buy a mask uh, against the coronavirus. Uh, ain't gonna happen, uh, but something is eventually gonna come along. Uh, but before it gets here, something much smaller is going to precipitate a global economic collapse. And all we can do is uh, cheer on the day that happens because uh, it's getting ugly on the planet here in 2020. Things are coming to a head. And uh, three cheers for the coronavirus for doing its tiny, tiny little part in bringing down uh, civilization. And, uh, but I gotta wrap this up because I got to see a man about uh, a, uh, a camper. I, I just, uh, one of my kind-hearted uh, listeners has uh, <clears throat> one of my kind-hearted listeners has uh, lent me the money to buy this uh, this Road Warrior Mad Max camper that uh, I'm going to set up down here uh, in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Uh, where, you know, in my little bivouac for the end times. So, uh, if anybody wants to donate towards the, uh, wants to donate towards the purchase of this camper, what I'm telling folks is for every $25, uh, <laughs> every $25 I get in donations, to uh, buying this Road Warrior End Times Mad Max camper uh, buys you a night in the camper that you can come down here and visit me. And uh, we are at the end of the road here in the Point Lonesome. This is Hootie Point Road. I This is actually Hootie Point. Okay, I'm glad to see my new, uh, how about this guys, does this look like uh, I'm ready for Mad Max? So there it is, it is a 19, I'm not buying the truck, it's just a camper, this is a 1968 Avion or Avion or however you pronounce it, a 1968, this, this beauty is 52 years old. It has a lifetime warranty and uh, I think that's as fine a place as any to uh, survive global industrial, the collapse of global industrial civilization as any. So if you would like to spend the night in that fine looking uh, Mad Max mobile, I would really appreciate the donations. Anyway, get out there and be shopping for your own little fortress against the collapse coming to a planet near you with or without help from the coronavirus. Bye guys.